So, do you feel um, being pay paid well? Uh, I think so. I think I'm being paid ad adequately. Um, I'm, I, I certainly don't feel any sense of, uh, you know, of um, that I should be making more money. But it's been a very, a very long process of, uh, of the school eventually coming to the point where, um, where I think the staff members didn't understand on some level that they were, uh, they were volunteering. I don't own anything because I'm doing volunteer work since the last two years in the schools. Um, I decide to do volunteer for three years and experiment and question everything and then go and work after next year. Now, practically, <laughs> I don't get a lot of money for the work that I do. But I think that uh, this is a problem with a lot of democratic schools is they, you know, they get outside of the traditional realm and they're kind of off on their own. They're, they're, they're outside, they're on the periphery. And uh, in the United States anyway, there's not a lot of support for people who want to get outside of traditional education. So our school and other schools struggle with, you know, paying people adequately and things like that. At this point in time, um, I think that my salary for next year, I think is $43,000. And I've been in school for 15 years now. Um, my feeling is that that's probably pretty close to um, to what a, a public school teacher in our area um, that with similar um, you know career history might be making. In the area where I live, I'm earning about half of what a, a teacher makes in the public school system. Um, I I know that because one of the other staff people at our school was a. Um, a public school teacher for 17 years and she quit that to work at Greenwood and is now making half of what she made so and I'm, I'm making the same as she is so I know it's like oh I'm making half of that um, at the same time uh, um, my uh, partner also works and so we're, um, we, we aren't hurting financially um, I, uh, I also do uh, some computer work on the side, web, de web design on the side, and am able to supplement in my income enough that, uh, um, that we even feel comfortable now having a baby, that that's, that's not going to be a problem. I mean, certainly the, that um, in the beginning people worked for, for really no money at all, yeah. and that they felt that their, their compensation for their working was the, the experience that they had. Um, and that Where I certainly feel like the experience that I have is a very valuable thing, um, you know, I don't feel like I'm not, like I'm not being paid fairly. Um, now I think that we are fortunate at Greenwood too. Greenwood, it, it, they're, I mean, they're 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 not paying as well as 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 the other teachers in the area, but they're paying better than um, than some of the other subway schools I know that I uh, that I did investigate. Um, which, which isn't really a problem for me um, because I, I'm so dedicated to it that I would donate my time if that's what it took to, to keep a school like this working. It took a long time to get to the point where people didn't feel that that was, that that was part of it. But uh, most beginning Sudbury schools, or most beginning democratic schools would give a basic minimum wage which is around six, five, six dollars per hour and uh, that is not enough for survival that you cannot survive uh, with rent and tax and insurance and all that not enough i would say but you can survive and that is again a thing where the kids own it and the kids feel or the whole school the assembly staff everybody owns a place and feel that these people who are serving the school also need a minimum wage and everybody together work rather than staff going and say, I want 30,000 or I want 20,000, I could have made 40,000 outside. That's not, rather kids should say, oh guys, these people are forming our lives, are helping to be available for us to really find out what life is. How would they survive without money? So when they feel it, they'll work for it. When the parents feel it, wow, this is what my kid is turning out to be. Who's doing this work? The staff. They really need money. They themselves raise the tuition. You don't have to tell them that to raise the tuition. If I made a lot of money, that would be great. It would be more than great because I'm doing a great job. 
you know, a job I love. And then I also get all this money. <laughs> uh, it doesn't really work like that in the United States, but, um, but we're working on that. Our school works on that. And, and a lot of democratic schools work on that. I mean, it's such an important part of, uh, of what it's all about.